Let's start our stream today about insects. Today we are meeting with my friend Akif Suna from Turkish hello, Republic. Well, hello Akif. How is the weather now in, in your city? Eskisha here. I couldn't hear you. You cannot hear me? Yeah, I can uh, hear, but couldn't hear the thing you said. What is about weather? Oh, uh, it is sunny. Sunny, so it, very good. It's good for collecting insects, but we are in lockdown now. For I weekends, see. we are in lockdown, so. You cannot move too much. Yeah. You can only move I'm outside. Home. Yes. At home. So you can collect around your house. Yeah, I am or waiting for insects actually. Like I am opening the windows. I am waiting for them. Like nothing showed up. But can you go to park? Can you go to park? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it's banned too. Like you should be at home. I see. I see. Oh, someone is calling to me. This is Ukrainian call. Sorry about later. But so we had such a strong restrictions last year. Maybe for one month, we were sitting inside house. Only I used. I was very lucky because I have my assistant. So we were walking around our house. So we you have were a not garden. Lost. In, the, in a park, we mm. were visiting the park, so it was very That's comfortable nice. idea. So one month, everybody was sitting inside house, but we every day two times walking around house, go to park. So well, it's why not, it's not dangerous as no one is outside. Sometimes people walking. Mm. Now we have also lockdown but it is allowed to go outside and also uh, just we go to, can go by metro or by bus but with special ticket with special permission if you have permission you can yeah, go yeah. it's same to the here. center but i have no permission so i am locked i am locked in house uh, you so can say ticket. i'm an entomologist Maybe they, they can accept. Mm, I can try if I say I am journalist. Journalist mm. can visit city, can show the city how it's going on. So my friend who is mm. journalist, he's running around, running around in the city and filming, filming with camera, doc making a documents how lockdown is going on mm. because in center people walking around parks so not yeah. so dangerous at least people not locked very much yeah and shops working all the time shops working so but today we are talking about insects what about insects indoor indoor it means in house indoors i have a special book from irish republic from ireland Irish insects indoor, very interesting. So here, just a very big book written under the guidance of James O'Connor, curator of entomology. This is like identification guide for insects indoors. So I'm very happy to have this book because very pleasant stories, very interesting stories in English, in English and with such entomological experience what was found in those in houses in buildings in irish republic but still this is europe and these insects are the same the same in ukraine in turkish republic and did you see any insects in those in house recently for example mm. yesterday i found a dung beetle but it dung was like small dung beetles, not black. I can show you if you want. 
you you filmed? Yeah, I filmed it. It's short. Okay, I think this some beetles attracting to houses from mm. outside, from streets, because yes. we switch on light, and light always attracting everything. Okay, invertebrates, invertebrates, and insects are coming, beetles are coming, butterflies coming, uh, neuroptera, neuroptera flies coming, diptera mm. flying coming, and also we are searching for food. We are searching for food. Yeah. So everything house, can come to your house. In in house we have many food, like clothes clothes some products some cereals some bread in kitchen so for example i start with uh, first flour moth for example we have if you have uh, some bread inside your kitchen so always this insect will come sometimes this is small and a little bit dangerous butterfly moth to be precise plodia plodia interpunctella plodia interpunctella mealworm moth always running very fast now not running a little bit freezing okay running running to light running to light and then just mm. hiding somewhere so it, here I filmed on my job in the institute. I put it just on table, and she is running very fast. She is running yeah. very fast, and sometimes flying just on floor on on the floor to light up right? where and difficult to catch. So you collected some insects in a near window. Did you collect near window or on balcony? Where yes. did you collect? Both, actually. Like I collect in balcony and window, near window. Okay. So let's today we will make exchange by different videos. What insects are living in Ukraine and what insects live in Eskishahir? Yeah in Turkish Republic. Let's go. Start with your video. Okay. So we can share some videos. And we I show also some insects, beneficial insects. Not all insects in house dangerous. For example, show your insect from Turkish Republic. This is also not dangerous. One yeah no these are not dangerous these beetles very positive beetles so they have very clean funny. cleaning our environment yeah i live and there's a uh, we have a very big and river in in you in our city in kiev if i switch on light midnight some small beetles and small insects from river coming in summer now it is still a little bit cold and today is uh, raining so sometimes but these beetles coming not very often yeah not very often they're rare pretty rare, rare. sometimes i can see them on the ground when i'm walking around with my dog i'm always very careful around watch for insects and sometimes some beetles were running very fast on the ground just on mm -hmm. earth on near grass some bugs beetles so if you keep a small bottle i have always some small bottles with me so i can take them and to show them later on video as I said, some insects can be dangerous. Oh, okay, I show one more. For example, I showed moth, but this is a moth. 
Moth is laying eggs, and eggs are developing and becoming caterpillar. So, and sometimes you go to kitchen, go to kitchen, I'm going to my folder to show what we can find in a kitchen. For example, you have some nuts, some arachis nuts, and nuts, this, they destroyed, damaged, some caterpillars inside nuts. So this is a caterpillar of flower moth, Plodia interpunctella, and some small destroyed pl places around, you see, feces, eaten, eaten nuts. Mm -hmm. but this is another flower moth, caterpillar. But there are some interesting parasitoids. If you have occasionally, occasionally, not always, some moths in the kitchen, some parasitoids coming, coming inside your house from the street, from outside, for example. And who is that? Some braconide parasitoids will parasitize these caterpillars occasionally you can find them on a window because they are crawling on the window these are gabrobracon small parasitoids they are attacking caterpillar so they're sitting take using ovipositor and try to penetrate Okay, this caterpillar already parasitized, already yeah. with some dry. Eggs. So nearly semi-dry, but they are still very aggressive, and caterpillar is smelling. So attractive, attractive for gabrobracon. So that's why we are sitting and try. Try to penetrate, maybe, and checking. They are checking to lay eggs or not to lay. So they use ovipositor to check the situation. How they do it? For example, I have a big video, big size video. You see, here they are very small, mm -hmm. but now one large video will come. If we make magnification, on the microscope. Okay, here I show you. Oh yeah. Mm. So this is in the center. This is ovipositor. Ovipositor is picking, picking the caterpillar. Maybe one minute, two minutes, usually about two, three minutes. But parasitoid is not laying always eggs. Not always eggs. You will see what happens later. In many cases, female will eat, will be feeding on hemolymph, on blood of caterpillar. Because she's making hole and some gemolymph is coming. Blood is coming, so she's turning around. It's fascinating. Like here. She's just, yeah, like here. She's, she's just turned the head down and she's licking. She's licking, licking like a dog, like a dog. Mm. Uh, like a dog, uh, a gemolim, eating. This is very helpful for development of eggs. Yeah, it got the protein. So that's why, yeah, get protein and growing eggs in body. After feeding, female becoming very fat and long-lived, maybe one, two, three weeks can live female. And eggs will grow slowly. Okay, your step. 
So now you can show your insect. Okay, but try before that, we have, a I will show. we have a question from Nature Elm. Uh, okay. Uh, what uh, is the question? Silocopa species, like carpenter bees. Yes. Are they solitary? He asks. Are they solitary and can they uh, live in the pipes? Yes. They're solitary, but in many cases, they are making uh, colony together. Everyone in separate flat. Everyone in separate flat. They are not making a colony. They are not living together. Mm -hmm. They live in one hole, next hole, next hole, next hole, one by one. Like humans in building, mm -hmm. one family separately from another family. Yes. It's like an apar apartment they are living. Yes, like in apartment house. So we joined with a world of butterflies from Ukraine. And not from Azerbaijan. Yes. Okay. So let's go. Okay, to my video. Let's go to show your video. Okay, I have a parasitoid story too. Yes, inside house. Well, yes. this is a small parasitoid. Okay. Like, let me tell. Like, there were, uh, my mom was going to cook broccoli. Uh, like, broccoli uh, waited uh, two weeks in the fri refrigerator. But ah, then, see. like, she went and got it out, but they were still living. Like, I saw, like, black spots there, like, what are they? And I saw like there are aphids and like aphid parasitoid wasps. It was really weird. Like they waited in the refrigerator for two weeks and didn't. So die. you made collection from a refrigerator. Yes, <laughs> that's a new technique. Yeah, yeah refrigerator so collection. that's a good point. Sometimes I go to market for collecting insects. So next my video will be about market. So yeah, I saw a few insects in market too. Oh, right. Very good. Because so like their doors are always open. Insects always come in. Yes. And some sailors in the market, they sell some products with insects. Yeah. So did you put your insect in small box or just on plant? That's a plant, like broccoli plant. Oh, I see, I see. But and after that, I put them in boxes. And here we see female is trying to oviposit inside aphid. And when here, try to penetrate, try to kick it. Mm -hmm. to parasitize and when we saw two we will try to make it to make okay very nice okay and i will show some beetles sometimes we go we go to market we buy some products in the market and always if these are private people some someone say of sailors can sell you some seeds with insects so very useful because private in a private market people do not check always quality you you bring some seeds like beans and inside your house and kitchen from beans we receive bean beetles so Acanthus celides optectus. Acanthus celides optectus. Very common beetles. A serious and pest, they grow, I think. 
of beans. And they grow in kitchen. Did you see it in your kitchen? Yeah, I've never saw seen one of them. Yeah. Actually, I prepared a video about this too, but there are only one and not on beans. I... Usually on beans, on different types of beans. Sometimes we do not like some uh, variations of beans because they mm -hmm. have a different taste. And they develop, not, they sometimes develop outside in the garden. Mm -hmm. And so they fly inside house. Then in fast. And, and if you keep beans inside in plastic box, somewhere in, a, this is not, a, it's very good. So we're sitting inside plastic, plastic with seeds. And we will grow on on dry beans, on dry beans. We need only dry beans. If we are sitting for a long winter, you will receive so many beetles. Yes, like this you one. You will receive uh, culture of beetles, culture of beetles. But there are some interesting parasitoids. We are living outside. Uh, small egg parasitoids of bruchida beetles. Some be bruchida beetles, they lay eggs on flowers, on seeds, seed pods, on seed pods. Very small eggs, about one millimeter. If you collect, like some, uh, how you say, you, you are making, how to show you, for example, this seeds inside seed pods inside seed pods and like on pea green pea in june july some bruchid beetles bruchus lay eggs on outside and small parasitoid half of millimeter 0 0.5 millimeter coming and lay eggs inside eggs so eggs are very small, one millimeter, and parasitoid is very small, 0 0.5 millimeter. So bruchida is very good host for some parasitoids. Mm -hmm. And larvae inside also, this is a host for different parasitoids. Okay, let's go. Your your round, so your round, or I will show someone. So, okay, this is this is a bean wheel, too. Oh, yes, good co quality, uh, good quality on yes. white, on white plate. So, they're running very fast, sometimes yeah. difficult to say. We are running to the light or outside of light. So we're just trying to hide somewhere. Yes. We're just escaping. We open a literus and we're flying very quickly. Just to escape to one place to another place. Mine was going to like uh, searching for light, going yes. for windows. Yeah. Yes, usually, this is a usually protection in uh, after collecting seeds in a garden. If you collect some seeds in a garden, put them near window, so they hatch and go to window. So so go they are not sitting on seeds, they hatch and go to window, so it will be easy to separate seeds and beetles. So seeds will not be parasitized by beetles. Will be so they will not destroy so many be seeds. So what about my beetles, my insects? So I have some more in my collection. So I show you as well. So what? Okay, this is very special insect. Very unusual sometimes, but. but in, in oh, Lithuania. Yes, yes. In this is 
indicator that we were somewhere cockroaches. Cockroaches. So because these was were parasitizing on cockro on egg sac of cockroach on oteca. So we lay eggs inside oteca. Usually cockroach is coming in and catching the second part of cockroach with big oteca, with big pack of eggs. So we are searching for egg pack of cockroaches and ovipositing. But we have very interesting morphological structure. I collected these in Ankara. So these are two Evania from Turkish Republic, not Ukrainian. <laughs> I couldn't find yet. I hope I can find this summer. So we are very fast. We are flying and we are searching everywhere under the tables, under the products between small some things somewhere in house so these are beneficial beneficial insects for our house because they stop cockroaches but difficult to rear them because they, it's difficult to keep cockroaches and then to hatch this parasitoid parasitic wasp Evanida. So let's show some other insects. What uh, do I have? For example, okay. But how do you think? What about some women? Do you like or not this animal? One animal is coming. These animals are not mm, pleasant to have in house. Usually people don't like this animal. Yeah, don't like. Spider. But I think they're beneficial. Like yes, to kill I guess. mosquitoes and pests. Some people are afraid uh, of big, big spiders. Yeah. In some areas, people say in Turkish Republic, spiders mm, a little bit mm, big. How do you think? Uh, Did you I see? It changes. Really. I have. Uh, I saw big spiders like this. This like size. Yeah, this size. It was a wolf, wolf spider. But where do they live? In they the live underground? Inside. Yeah, underground. Underground, yes, yeah. I can show if, if I can find. Oh, maybe uh, maybe later. Yeah, maybe Just later. show your next from your prepared collection. Or oh, someone, we got one visitor from who is talking to us. Let's talk in other language, maybe in Polish. Some visitors from Polish republic join us no no we're talking in english so let's show you okay what who is this coming spider two they're really common it's called oh uh, wall spiders all right so they should be jumping a little bit no no, no they are jumping wall they're like wandering around running ah, so yeah but we are very active we are not yeah, sitting we are yeah. just yeah yeah so we're hunting we're hunting we're mm -hmm. moving around and hunting yeah very nice. very nice i have but some very small but very small yes yeah, yeah. One is trying to jo join us, not to rain, but I'm not sure it's written. Devices are not connected for not to rain. Not to rain can join us 
in video, but it's written devices are not connected. So try again, because I cannot show you. We, we have one visitor. Okay, I show someone else. Next, what what can I show? I hope I have some collection as well. So you can send next video to. Okay. Okay. For example. Okay, I have, I have, I have. These are dangerous beetles. Here we see many dead beetles. Dead beetles because they destroyed something in the kitchen. These, be these are beetles. Did you see them in the kitchen sometimes? No, I, I saw them on nature. In a garden. In nature. Mm, sometimes they're eating uh, dry, dry plants. Dry plants, dry flower mm. heads dry seeds inside flowers where they also are they living in wood this is anobide anobide family wood beetles anobi anobide and usually people say uh, if a wife or housekeeper is very good there is no insects or animals in a house because housewife or house as a housekeeper cleaning everything in the kitchen no insects so your mother may clean everything so very very clean house yeah this is right and usually yeah and usually people uh, not very often keeping some food in the kitchen like in the plastic bags in a stock just maybe for one two days one, two days, and then go to shop for shopping. If some people making a stock, some, something, something in, inside plastic, some insects very easy can come inside plastic to catch food. For example, these mm. beetles were eating everything from flour, like a bread, dry, 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 like a bread, especially dry bread, cereals, Wheat, even gerbarium, even collections, even insects collections. If you, yeah. oh, if I open my collection like this, if I open this box and put it out outside open, some insects will come to collection and will destroy these two beautiful beetles. So that's why I keep them very 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 toughly closed i hope so i hope so because if it will be very small crevices here little bit open beetle can lay egg nearby or caterpillar caterpillar lay egg not inside but outside and caterpillar will move around and find a small entrance and go inside and will eat collection so very dangerous okay yeah, we should be careful. Then, yes collection that's why for collection if we have collection very important to have collection inside plastic bag like this close it for beginning we put it to freezer to freezer minus 20 minus 20 so all the insects, all pests will die inside. And after that, uh, I keep some collection, not everything like, like this. I have a sm another box, another box with some um, insects. But I hope that I close them very well. So I try to open, so it's difficult to open. So you see some small insects in collection, 
but very important to close it very carefully. Do not make any hole well, because insects were smelling, they're making smell, and other pests will come, make, can come and eat uh, these insects inside. So, and they're called drugs, mm. drug store beetles. Yeah. Or biscuit, biscuit beetles. Or we say tobacco beetles. So I put. They can like always that. find an entrance. So. They're insects. Sometimes I use one pack, and I use a second one, because sometimes one can be destroyed. Yeah. So. To be cautious. Very important. To be cautious. To put in mm -hmm. two bags. Okay, let's show. Because. Uh, I had I have one box with tobacco beetles, and inside I had many pupae of uh, hornets. One, some tobacco beetles came inside. They ate many insects inside, and they cannot go outside. They, all beetles, small pests, they died inside of the box because they came as a small larvae, or maybe one only female and when it become many beetles all of the beetles they died inside it's like a so chaos i open box and it, it, all insects were were dead okay no this is not in correct so i show another one ah oh, yes this rice beetle? Yes. This is a curculanido I weevil. I recognize it from its nose. Yeah, so here big magnification. And in, you see the beetle in powder, in powder on on surface. Dirty beetle. Mm. Because I'm so hungry. Searching, searching for new food. Sometimes can eat even uh, dry bread. Usually, larvae developing inside seeds, inside seeds. But adult beetle can eat also food as uh, dry dry bread. So you see, very nice nose. And so, and they are very active. They are just running very quickly. Yeah. Very, very quickly. And some species of Cetophilus of this weevil, so coming inside inside seed. So you see, this is a seed, seed shell. Now beetle came inside seed shell. But seed shell already just empty. Practically nothing inside. Mm -hmm. And I have more of them. I, oh, you see. Yeah, I, I can. Usually, these are not seeds. These are cereals. Uh, we can use it for food, mm. for cooking. We use it for cooking. Like grain. Yes, yeah, so these are different grains for cooking. Okay, I show you next one. When I have m many of them. If we are all together, the parasitization will be very high. Invasion can be very high. Can be many, many. Even the product will be warm. Sometimes all these grains will be very warm. Hmm. I can try to show. So we have too. another question. From Nature Realm. Okay, says, what question? Have, have you ever been to Azerbaijan? No, I'm not. I have not visited Azerbaijan. And are you? No. Did you travel to another country? Not really. Not yet. No. 
I was going to, but wires came. I see. You see here, this is a cage with many, with many beetles. Mm. With in, in, in high infestation, infestation, not parasitization, infestation. Many pests. So they destroy all these grains. Many grain beetles. In some cases, they open wings and fly, but in, in usually they're just running because they're running very fast. We try to escape and try. We are not going to light. We are going outside of light, in mm -hmm. some hidden place. Maybe it's really scary. It's really scary for a person who doesn't know insect. Yeah, they will. They will scream probably. And call help. But this this pest is not common for city. Mm. But these pests are more common for village, I would say. Mm. Okay. Because in village usually people use grain to feed animals, to feed birds, sheep, cows, cattle, some animals. So that's why this is very common in a village. I have it a uh, collection just for study. Study okay. of grain, grain weevils, right? Yeah, grain weevils. Yeah, I saw your videos about them. Sometimes. Even if I use, and sometimes I use toilet paper to put it in a box. So we are moving inside between toilet paper, so we will be clean. Now we are very dirty with powder, powder mm. on body. It's if clever. You put, if you put just toilet paper, so we move, we will be squeezing between paper. So and will be clean, just to take a photo, take a photo or video because sometimes we are very dirty. Yeah. Especially when eating. And after, yes, as, uh, after eating and moving around. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's show you next video. Okay. If you have. Yes, I have. Okay. Did you collect it inside house? No. Who is this? It's a carpet beetle. Oh, dangerous beetle. Right, mm. right, right. So sometimes, very soon they will come on, on flowers in springtime. Yeah. Very common visitors of flowers in the springtime. And this is a cut uh, larva. Yeah, they're actually, their larvas are pests. Not the adults, as I heard. Larva eats la the carpets, but adults eat the flower. Yes, feeding or maybe on on flower petals pollen. or maybe pollen. When it, eating pollen. Yes. Did you did you find larva outside? No. They're always inside. inside yeah. yeah, inside. Because sometimes we are eating, you know, we say skin, skin from humans, because skin is falling down on floor, mm. and some uh, small rubbish falling down on floor. So carpet beetles were living, you see, on carpets. So we can find very small pieces of skin, and eat skin on the ground, just on floor in 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 uh, in rooms. So that's why, and we are also dangerous pests for collection, yeah. for collection, very dangerous. But and antrenos, the genus antrenos, usually very, very dangerous. So that's why must be very careful with collection. So I can try to find next video. 
or you can find two. So I go to searching for video. Okay. I have two video left. Okay, very good. I have one beneficial entry, mm. which sometimes come in to window because of very warm. Oh, nice. You see here, bumblebee, hungry bumblebee in the spring. Bumblebee is very, very cool and very quiet. If you put some honey on finger, bumblebee will be very happy. So easy to attract bumblebee mm -hmm. and stop him from flying. Maybe sometimes catch it in a box. He will call him. He will be not very. Bumblebee will not be very active. Now only females will be coming. So she is. She is. So she is female. And then give it small honey. She will be eating, feeding on honey. Will be very happy, and later can escape. after eating all it what yes okay who is your next who is your next mm, let me see it's a moth fly known as the drain flies yes I've seen it on on your page. Yeah. So uh, the quality I like very much good quality of this picture. Yeah, very clean and uh, fly is not very very fast. Yes. Good picture. And this is not a butterfly, right? Yeah, yeah it's a fly. But they this call it a... moth moth fly as it's uh, hairy. Hairy wings. Yes. Because of hairy wings. And, or drain drain fly because living in 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 pipe inside pipes. Inside pipes. In kitchen, and in drain. toilet, in uh, in the bathroom. But to be honest, not always in drains. Uh, if uh, there are some flowers in house, sometimes these Flies, we can eat wet, wet and destroyed uh, leaves of plants in inside house. If they are wet, so some flowers, uh, some plants can uh, can have a dry leaves. So they will not eat dry leaves. As they will eat wet leaves because they like very much humidity. If they live inside pipes. So they are very hairy. So we can move inside pipe. It will will not not attached to the water because if you drop sometimes fly on water, water can fly cannot be attached to water. But this one is hairy. Yeah, that's so why. Right. Yeah. So moving inside pipe, searching somewhere and lay eggs. So so this fly do like very much wet places yes we have a uh, we have culture of uh, some plants in laboratory in institute so and we have a culture of these flies on growing on growing seeds so if we have a box with seeds box with seeds so they are growing and sometimes seeds destroying inside inside box so, well, like, like keeping a box, put here seeds, seeds of weeds, and it's growing like a plant uh, to keep aphids, to keep aphids in collection for study. But some seeds destroying. So flies come in and they're eating rot rotten seeds, rotten seeds inside water. 
because they like water and food like plants so we eating plants inside water and um, i have a video about them we can show you it um, maybe later but for example i showed it on my video i have uh, collection some insects inside box i told you and this is a rosa a wild dog dog mm. rose dog rose yes. and on the top i have just very few small insects this is a plastic box i put here dry seeds of dog rose especially i collected in different places in different places to find infested infested uh, fruits because in one place nothing 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 in one place maybe some place yeah and now I do that too i just uh, picked up in one place and nothing came up mm, so now i even i surprised not many were coming but i have uh, last week some insects on the top so we're hatching from seeds of rosa and we're going out and working here working here so i use it like this i open it one is still here one is still here. and i drop them is that a wasp or fly yeah this is torimide wasp torimide wasp metallic I... or megastigmus megastigmus ah, okay i i have one maybe i can try to show because oh. okay someone which country suit out the terrain someone was visiting us what is your country right under this in our chat i i'm not sure if i have maybe i deleted this video okay next time next time no, so no, in, no. in less less stream you showed it yes see in separate video yeah oh but these are very common flies these are small drosophila <laughs> flies drosophila yes um there are a lot of them here too but i don't have a video yeah some people say do they appear from air some people very surprised especially in winter because sometimes we are flying in winter in kitchen yeah i think there was something like that uh they took the fruit flies to the moon in oh, first well, I... to the space i think space investigation Mm, fruit fly and also some uh, some lepidoptera some lepidoptera which are making cocoons mm. this is uh, like a, a lepidoptera from china making big cocoons for silk silk moth silk moth mm. yeah this, this. it's on and fruit flies were usually come into kitchen also from uh, market you buy some fruits vegetables already we infested fruits or vegetables with some eggs of fruit flies so in kitchen we just hatch we can mm. hatch and uh, we'll be very happy to find bananas apples fruits yeah everything uh, everything wet not dry food juicy juicy fruit juicy food but if you put um, some kind of water like a small some plates you use some plates with water or yellow plates yellow plates with water and shampoo we can fly to water and die 
very easy to collect them in the kitchen. Or lemon, can lemon juice. Like, they, oh, like, like with lemon. We attract it just to the smell and will die inside the water. So you have one more video? Yeah, one more. Okay, very good. Hello, everybody who is watching us. Okay, one animal is coming. Oh, yes, interesting animal. Yeah. And Where did you find it? Silver fishes. Like last week in my home, on the floor. Yeah. In a dry place or wet place? Mm, it's dry, dry. There are different, uh, different species. Uh, for example, I noticed uh, some species living in balcony, near window, very dry places. As even in the summertime, no nothing to drink, very dry place. But different species can live in a bathroom, smaller, very tiny, or maybe under uh, the bathroom. It different shapes, and we have a different shape, color, size, but we have a tail uh, just for protection. Difficult to say where is antenna, where is tail. It's on left antenna. No, no, antenna yes, of, ripped off. Yes, of course. So this uh, left, this is a head. And there is uh, also like a game, a computer game with this animal. Some visitors who is visiting my page. YouTube asking, oh, this is from video game. Ah, uh, yeah, mi Minecraft, I think. Yeah, like from Minecraft. We say, oh, yes, yes, this is an insect from a video game. Sometimes so games today... are useful to learn about insects. All right. Sometimes. Now, also, there is a game about entomologist, I found. Mm, what's its name? Mm, like, like it's just you can search for entomologist game, and it's showing entomologist with net, and entomologist is moving around and catching some insects, mm. like uh, nice. hunting, hunting for insects. Sweep, sweep netting. Yes. So this is entomologist game. I I, I cannot. Would... So this is a final picture. So today we had a good collection of insects, good exchange of a different entomological video script, video stories. I showed some animals from Kiev in Ukraine, and I keep showing it from tell about your city. Eskishehir. And tell for another people where is it, where it is, because Turkish Republic is very big. It's uh, we can say it's middle. It's in the middle of Turkey. Not Close middle. Part. I say north part. And uh, more or less middle and north. Yeah. Northern part. Middle left, and north. Left of Ankara. Yes. So because Ankara is somewhere in the middle, but yeah. on the north. So a little bit very close to Ankara. Yeah. Because Turkish Republic is very big from one sea till the mountains. Yes. And from desert till again the sea. So very even big. In, even in my neighbor, there are places like that. Like uh, right in the right there are forest, on the left there are desert. And some mount small yeah. small mountains. 
Yeah. Small mountain. And uh, down where is the forest near mountains, near mountains, many different uh, plants still mm -hmm. from desert. Then again, steppe, maybe forest, forest, and maybe only only stones. Yeah, it is rich, really rich. So uh, today we had a stream about insects inside houses, but spring is coming, season is coming, so insects are coming. I hope we can, despite lockdown, we can walk to some parks. Yeah, I hope. Some of maybe small forests. And in Turkish Republic, many parks in the city. Usually, yes. I I remember sometimes this is a, like a family park. Trees, fountains, pond, and especially small desks. Yes, yes. <laughs> so family. Common. So people come in to to the park, and sit near the desks. So sitting, eating, speaking. Am I right? Yes, you're right. So uh, these you're are kind of uh, family parks. Yes. Making uh, spring, summer, autumn, maybe winter picnics, mm. but outside. Not usually in winter, but yeah, not in winter. In winter, it's cold. <laughs> yes. Spring and summer picnics. I would say weekend, weekend picnics. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about thank there? You. Is it same in Ukraine? Here. This is a good question because usually in the parks we have a small chairs, not not desks. Mm. Because in desk people in the Turkish Republic they are sitting on chair on chair and we have a desk. So you can put your food on desk. But in our parks, we have only chairs, only chair for, just for sitting, <laughs> yeah. sitting for talking, no desk. So if you bring some food, mm, difficult to, to sit and eat. No yeah, you can sit on the ground, maybe. Uh, sometimes in the springtime, people making picnics on the ground, but in some parts, but in the springtime, I say um, there are some ticks, mites, yeah, can come and it is dangerous to sit on the ground. Yes, you're right. So you should be careful if you're going to sit on the ground. Uh, did you hear about some ticks in uh, in Turkish? Republic? Yes, I hear all the time. Like they spread diseases. Yes, but uh, do they exist in your local area, in your city? Uh, probably, but I, have, I haven't seen it. Okay. So you can... You but can I use... Talking about... Yes, yes. I have my sweep net. Yes, right. So if you use a big sweeping net, or big tissue and can move it on the ground, on the ground, some ticks coming and attached to the net. Like so if you are sweeping like this in the springtime, mm -hmm. so sometimes they're coming to in, inside or outside. So must be careful to check it. Yeah, I and tried it. Like uh, can, sometimes oh, I try, but haven't found anything yet. So maybe your area is lucky, not yeah. many ticks. Maybe it's uh, in forests. Oh, close to forest, maybe. Yeah. In a little bit more difficult to say. Yeah, I haven't tried it uh, this in forests yet. I will try right. and let you know. Just, uh, but also, also okay. I show one video. I wanted to show you final video about 
special control in Turkish Republic against insects. As you know, it is difficult to control insects in a city. Yeah. But sometimes I have seen interesting cars in Ankara. I tell you the name. I gave you see special car is coming. Oh. Making a spray. Making a spray with direct room with insecticide. I haven't seen it here. Maybe no? it's special to Ankara. Ah, I see. I can show you again. Wait, wait, wait. Show again. Show again. No, no, no. Maybe, maybe this is a really special, especially. I have seen it only in Ankara, only se but several times, many times, in the spring and mm -hmm. summer. I called the name of this car is anti-fly, anti-fly against flies, because car was coming uh, maybe to some beans with rubbish. Stop for some seconds, for one minute, and make a spray. Moving again. But they are mostly doing but it. But sometimes, the but sometimes against flies, sometimes yeah. against mosquitoes. Anti uh, car anti fly, anti fly. <laughs> Good. So name. sometimes, but not in your city. Very interesting. Yeah. Because maybe I was thinking there, maybe there are maybe there are cars like that, but I I didn't see it. Oh, no, no, no. I remember. I seen it also in Alanya. Mm. In Alanya, in touristic region. In, also just on the street in evening time. The car was moving and making spray. <laughs> Against mosquitoes to attract more tourists. Yeah. So will be no mosquitoes, ha happy tourists. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we can finish our stream, I guess. For today, we had a yeah. good collection. It was nice. So, I also recorded some insects near windows. So, next time I show you, if you open balcony, some insects can die near window. I show you. More insects even dead on the window, but it is more interesting to show living insects on the video. Yeah, yeah I dead caught a lot of, uh, dead, dead parasitoid wasps near window too. <laughs> it's coming. All oh, right, right, yes. Uh, sometimes very small insects come in near window, yeah. so we can search for hosts. Hosts. Uh, like small beetles, small caterpillars, small larvae. So we do not see host, but we can search. We use an antenna, we search mm -hmm. around. But after that, they so cannot you... get out. They can find the way out and die here. Yes. Always I have a box. So I had a video about it, how to make a box from milk, from two milk mm. boxes. So this is a box from a caps from milk box. So very easy to make and useful for collecting small samples. Very cheap, very cheap. Eh? And you do not destroy environment. Yes, it's nature so, friendly. Yes, yeah, so because I can use it many times. Otherwise, it will be burning outside, like making yeah. a fire and smell and dangerous, maybe some evaporation. So thank you for coming. Thank you for our visitors and visitors who will watch our video in recorded 
mode, in recorded mode, because stream is more active. So yes. we can exchange like a video. You can, uh, we can, I can show it from Ukraine and Eskesha here is far away, far away. But it is here. It is here just on one screen, on one screen. So thank you for coming. Thank you so, for inviting me. So hopefully, if we have time, wish, or as I say, uh, it is important to have urgent desire, desire to create new stream, so we can make new stream next weekend. Yes, we can actually. I have desire. And oh, it's always uh, very important to, for example, you should have urgent, like a very strong, very strong desire, a very strong wish to study English, to study English and to study biology, yeah. not only, not only entomology, but biology. Because biology, this is even, this is a big one, also biology. Yeah. Because this is also a useful animal for collecting insects. I made a video, I collected some fleas, some dangerous fleas, on body of my assistant, <laughs> on body of my assistant. I created a video, uh, fleas under microscope. An assistant collected my these fleas. Just on I, kitch, 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 he's, kitch, he's a good as, assistant. So and very quiet. He's helping. Yeah. The best assistant maybe. So okay, thank you for visiting. If you have any questions, welcome. Or maybe some people have questions. You asked about um, collecting method but i typed you maybe yeah, i can type. i typed you i will send you a message about it i will create maybe new video about it how to collect so welcome to our web page to watch new other videos about insects collecting methods and insects indoors outdoors in a garden, in a field, maybe near a river, um, near a pond. Or keep, are any ponds near your city or near your region? Mm, no. Not many. In Eskisha, not there many. are, but not in my neighborhood. Yes. Because Turkish Republic is uh, uh, hot and dry yeah. hot and in dry. many places hot and dry. Anyway, just this are good subject for next videos. Maybe I can bring some insects in boxes. So we'll, we will be running. So we can show each other some insects even alive. So we will be running mm -hmm. because spring coming, summer coming. Good point to show. Oh, you see, I collected big wasp. Be sure I will I will do. Okay. Even some big big wasps. So Let's they see. are waiting for us. Waiting for our recording. So thank you for coming. Say hello to our visitors. Hello. Okay. See bye you bye. Again. Bye. See you again on our stream. Next in next yes. video stream. Okay, I show and broadcast, okay, and broadcast.